Well, good morning and welcome to Bridge Day 2017, everybody. Our 40th anniversary birthday celebration. Let's have another round of applause. 40 years for this bridge. I'd like to welcome in today our video audience from around the world. CBS Television's here. The Weather Channel's taking live satellite feeds. CNN's taking live satellite feeds. Snapchat is on the bridge. We're broadcasting on Governor Jim Justice's website. And also, we're also broadcasting on Suddenlink around West Virginia. So welcome into our video audience to Bridge Day 2017. You know, for some, it's hard to believe it's been 40 years since the opening at a, the world's, at the time, the world's longest single span arch bridge, now the fourth longest in the world, third in the U.S. But it's clear to see that West Virginia back in the 1970s was first to create an engineering marvel and today we call attention remember and reflect of the 40th anniversary of the new river gorge bridge i'm randy dameron with the west virginia department of transportation and i know i'm glad to be here and i know you are as well there's great speakers behind me you're going to meet here in just a few minutes but uh some say it's it's a highway, just a highway bridge but we know it to be much more it's a regional economic driver it's a tourism destination a state symbol a strategic component of improved transportation, cutting, as you know, the drive time to about from 45 minutes to 45 seconds from one side of the gorge to the other. The New River Gorge Bridge, an engineering marvel from the vision and concept of then Governor Arch A. Moore Jr. back in 1969. Construction began in June of 1974 and was completed on October 22nd, 1977, tomorrow of course. But we celebrate today, and we've got a special surprise at the end of the ceremony, a little sweet delight I think you're going to enjoy. At the time, the bridge was the uh, West Virginia Division of Highway's largest project in history, costing $37 million, and was constructed by U.S. Steel's American Bridge Division. As I mentioned, in a few minutes, you're going to hear remarks from our distinguished guest seated behind me. Governor Moore's daughter, who is now one of our United States Senators, the consultant company, who was the bridge designer, the New River Gorge National Park, uh, New River Gorge National River Park Superintendent, remarks from our United States Congressman, and greetings from other United States Senator, of course, our Secretary of the West Virginia Department of Transportation. So, as we begin our ceremony today, we open with an invocation. This is Reverend Harold Harry Fuller, pastor, of the Gatewood Baptist Church. Harry. Let us seek the Lord together. Heavenly Father, I've been asked to do an invocation for this honorable gathering. So Lord, I now call upon you to be recognized for who you are and for what you have done for us and through us. Father, open our eyes to see and our hearts and minds to know the breadth and depth of the symbolism that is presented to us right now. Lord, we are here above the New River, the New River which reminds us of the flow of life and the cleansing that comes with continual washing, both physical and, phys and spiritual. We are among the beautiful mountains of the state we call almost heaven, which constantly remind us that we are without excuse to not see your existence and divine power through your creation. They give us a sense of strength, protection, security, and stability. And being among such an array of trees which stands as monuments of peace with their limbs stretched out as if in praise to you, so many sizes, ages, and types, yet all grow together without conflict because they share the same soil and look toward the light instead of one another. And when the winds of adversity blow, they bend together in the same direction. May we be of like manner. And of course, we recognize this magnificent structure in which we trust as our support at this very moment, the New River Gorge Bridge. How it is a reminder of the wisdom and knowledge you have given man. This is an engineering feat, a marvel to behold, a reminder of how we can rise to the occasion to span the challenges, tests, and trials of life to be overcomers. Oh God, you have allowed this bridge, you've allowed this bridge to be of great value to this area in our state. Thank you. And thank you for the men and women who have exhausted time, 
energy and assets to make a vision into this reality, one that has been made a permanent positive impact on our economy, our people, and our appreciation of the natural resources of this area. <coughs> and one more thing, Lord, please let this bridge be a reminder that Jesus is the bridge between God and man, and only through him can we span the gulf of separation caused by sin. Thank you for the cross of Calvary. And this I pray in his name, the wonderful, powerful, and exalted name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. For our seated guest, at this time I would ask you to stand for our national anthem. And here to sing is Mr. Aaron Gillespie. Aaron. <clears throat> Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight and the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er this land of the free And the home of the brave Wow. May be seated. Wow, just makes you feel good, doesn't it? By the way, we're proud of Aaron Gillespie. Aaron is actually uh, works for the West Virginia Division of Highways. He is our state highway engineer, gifted voice. Thank you, Aaron. Thirteen months after the New River Gorge Bridge opened to traffic, federal legislation was signed establishing the New River Gorge National River as a unit of the National Park System for conserving and interpreting outstanding natural, scenic, and historic values and other objects in and around the New River Gorge and preserving as a free-flowing stream an important segment of the New River for the benefit and enjoyment of present and future generations. Our first speaker this morning is a 25-year veteran of the National Park System and has held positions in 13 national parks, and this is her second stint here where she's happy to call home again. The superintendent of the New River Gorge National River Park, please welcome Miss Lizzie Watts. Good morning, good morning on behalf of the National Park Service and all of the staff at New River Gorge National River, we are honored to be part of the 40th anniversary for the New River Gorge Bridge Celebration. This particular day really is a part of honor for all of us here because many, many years ago, the vision of Archmoor was to open up this section of Southern West Virginia. Not just for West Virginians. Although if you live in Lansing and you could actually go to Fayetteville within 15 minutes, that was sure a blessing to be desired. Or you could get to a hospital or a grocery store or the family member you only saw twice a year because it was a lot further to get there the old way. It was that vision that truly West Virginians are noted for. The bridge is truly a testament to opening up the North-South Corridor for not just for us West Virginians, but truly for millions and millions of visitors that drive through this country 
and realize what we already knew, that it's the prettiest place on the face of the earth. <laughs> this corridor or corridor L project, resulting in this magnificent bridge, really gives us an opportunity to show the world Really, one of the other corridors that I'm personally proud of that thinks pretty spectacular, which is the New River Gorge. This park is a testament to how much we realize that the natural beauty around us in America is only found here and nowhere else in the world. It is a corridor that has made this area spectacular. We have one of the highest diversity in the United States of plants and animals found if you look north or south. It makes this unique in the national park system, but it also makes it special because it's ours. This park, like all of the other 417 parks in the national park system, belong to us all. They are our legacy for us today to enjoy, to fish, to boat, to hike, to sit by the riverbank and look up at this bridge. To <laughs> Amen's right. <laughs> um, they are our gift to the next generation. And it took a lot of wisdom and visionary for someone to see how important that opening this up to the world would be. Forty years later, we are all a testament to that and the hundred thousands or so people that will come today to have the one opportunity a year to walk across the most spectacular bridge in the United States. Now, I'm prejudiced because my first project was help building the building that's over there, which is the Canyon and Visitor Center, and we have over 500,000 people every year. They come to see the bridge from inside do the boardwalk, walk down the steps and look up, or do the bridge walk underneath. All of it is to look at not the fact that it's an engineering marvel, but that it also blends so well into the natural environment. That's truly a testament to the men and women that designed it for Michael Baker and company, to U.S. Steel and all of their workers that did something I would never have the guts to do. And I've been underneath, <laughs> but this was completed when I went underneath. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't have had me walking on that bridge. Um, but also to the visionary of the people of the state of West Virginia and the Department of Transportation. When they said, let's open up the North-South Corridor, let's let Pennsylvania, New York, Florida, South Carolina, get an opportunity to see the prettiest part of West Virginia. And it's in their honor today, their vision, that we as part of the National Park Service are honored to be part of. So as we finish the rest of our adventure today, I am gonna challenge each and every one of you to take the opportunity, if you've never done it, to walk across the bridge, get an experience of your park, and we thank you and hope you have a wonderful 2017 Bridge Day. Thank you. Thank you, Lizzie. That was great. I know why she's so glad to be back home now. Thank you, Lizzie. Well, our next speaker is uh, representing the um, third congressional district in the U.S. House of Representatives, has served there since 2015. He is a member of the House Appropriations Committee and a true outdoor adventurist, having floated under the bridge many times. But he tells me he was most impressed with this structure when he took the bridge catwalk tour, as Lizzie mentioned a moment ago. Please welcome the Honorable Evan Jenkins. We're sneaking up on him. Welcome. This is, uh, what a view. Looking at some probably heroes that helped build this bridge. Looking at these beautiful bridge day queens that uh, weren't around 40 years ago, I suspect. 
Though there's Mrs. Uh, Bridge Day, I, I won't check the age. <laughs> it's uh, welcome to the third congressional district. You know, the United States, every 10 years, takes the nation's population and divides it by 435. And that divide, uh, uh, defines what a congressional district is. And there are some members of Congress that they can stand on a building, look from the rooftop, and see their entire district. Our district starts in Mason County and goes to Pocahontas County. I have tried to look from one end to the next. I can't see. But standing here today on the New River Gorge Bridge, you can see an awfully long way. Now, we talk about 40 years and all that has happened. But we only have to look back and we're thinking about the symbolism of what this bridge means to us as West Virginians, as a proud born and bred mountaineer. You know what, it was just over a year ago that we are literally in the epicenter of just some incredible rainfall. And we had tragically the loss of life. And throughout the region we have rebuilt and we know this bridge is iconic for a lot of things, and Lizzie said it so eloquently about what this bridge means. Yes, it's shorter travel time. Yes, it's incredible vistas. Yes, it's recreation, it's tourism. But it, for us, is a symbol of strength and power right. and resilience. Right. It stands strong. And when we were devastated by the floods, all you have to do is come up here to the mountaintops and look at things like this bridge that people around the world see this bridge and know that's West Virginia. That's West Virginia strong. And it will be strong for a very long time. And I think back about Shelley Moore Capito and her wonderful father and that vision for this bridge and to open up transportation corridors. And I think about Tom Smith and our governor. We have Shelley and I and our congressional delegation passed the first fully funded multi-year highway transportation bill two years ago that's bringing $2.5 billion just to West Virginia for roads. Coupled with the vote here a week ago to allow 1.5 plus billion dollars for road improvements in West Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, West Virginians are having close to four billion dollars because as go the roads, so go the jobs. We are proud West Virginians. We love our scenic beauty. We love the people. We're resilient and this bridge is a testament to who we are as a people and we've got a vision for the future. So let's celebrate 40 years, and we'll be back and celebrating 40 more, God willing. We know one thing for sure, this bridge will be here. So to each and every one of you, for all who played a role in building this magnificent structure and building the glory of West Virginia, we are West Virginia proud. God bless you. Happy Bridge Day. Our next speaker shared many conversations about the vision and concept of the New River Gorge Bridge growing up in the Moore household. Senator, if I'd like to share a story, if I may. You, you may remember this uh, from your father. This story is actually printed uh, 10 years ago in the Beckley Herald on the 30th anniversary. I'm going to quote former Governor Arch Moore. Quoting Governor Moore, there's something I really want to announce today, unquote. Moore declared over 30 years ago, and again, this article was written, 10 years ago, at the gathering of the State Chamber of Commerce near the current bridge site. <coughs> Governor Moore then took two blocks of wood, he set them apart, and he laid a flat piece of board across them to illustrate his concept for the bridge design. He then put an arch under it. Quote, this is how this is going to look. You see nothing but the sky and the world, unquote. Now, continuing from this newspaper article, again, printed 10 years ago. Moore then jokingly told them that he wanted lights placed under the bridge in the shape of his initials, A-A-M-J. 
None were amused, he recalled. <laughs> Quote, all the chamber had to understand is that they were responsible for the light bill, he quipped. <laughs> Quote, that just tore the place up, unquote. Well, last year his daughter, our senator, took the bridge walk tour and was overwhelmed and amazed with the intricate construction underneath the bridge, inside the arch. Please welcome United States Senator, the Honorable Shelley Moore Capitale. <laughs> Out so I can. Uh, there, now I can see everybody. Well, Randy, thanks, and thank all of you. Um, it's kind of a spiritual day here for me uh, to be here at one of the most beautiful places uh, really in the world. Um, and so, uh, 40 years ago, at the first dedication, I'd like to see a show of hands of everybody who was here 40 years ago. There we are. Right. We're good. My husband and I were just young marrieds. We were young ones, young marrieds, and we came here with my mother and my father for the dedication of the bridge. You can imagine it was a very proud day. But I'm paying it forward today because today I have with me my son and my granddaughter, Eliza, who's out here. I heard her cry. You know how you have those ears, moms? I heard oh, yeah. her crying over here a little bit earlier. She, there she is. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Eliza? So in 40 years, she can say she was here. So that's a great legacy for us. Uh, Superintendent Watts, thank you, Lizzie, for what you do. You're such a great ambassador to this part of the state and, to, and really to all the hundreds of thousands of people that we see coming through here. I thought about what Randy said about all you can see. My dad said all you could see was the sky and the world. Gosh, he was right, wasn't he? Yeah. All you can see is the sky and the world. So today, it's, it's, uh, it's personal for me. I'd like to thank uh, Governor Justice for his invitation and Tom Smith as well for everything. These guys did an amazing job on something I think is really important, and that's the road bond that we as West Virginians accepted and passed and, and trust them to build another great, uh, some other great infrastructure in our state, which we need. But my, yeah, good job. <laughs> this is quite a masterpiece and quite a, an achievement. Um, Actually, my dad, when he was first running for governor, uh, my brother told the story that he and dad were riding in the car before dad was elected. And my dad was uh, driving around, and, uh, and there were very few four-lane highways, imagine that, at the time. And my dad looked at my brother and said, by God, when I'm elected, I'm going to build roads. And, and that's what he did. But you know what? It was never easy, and he didn't do it by himself. There are many people here, companies here, gentleman here who worked on the bridge. He had a great highways commissioner. We all should say thank you to Bill Ritchie, who was a visionary with my dad to see that this came came true. Bill Bill never left, um, never left though, and things accomplished. Oh, my dad fired Bill Ritchie about four times, and, <laughs> and apparently Bill Ritchie quit about four times, but they ended up together, and this was one of their crowning achievements. My dad always said he held his breath when he went across the bridge. And it wasn't because he was scared. It was because of the beauty and wonder of it and the state. He said that it reminded him a lot of the bridges in Germany that he saw when he was serving in World War II. But he said it never quite had the finesse of the German bridges. So we heard the story about his initials. And I'll say, when I went on the bridge walk, I looked for those initials, but I didn't quite see them. So he was always pulling everybody's leg. Uh, but it isn't lost on me that this is an Arch Bridge, and his first name is Arch. So, <laughs> so that was always a lot of fun for him. When you see the thousands of cars that drive through, people from all over the world, people connecting from West Virginia, north and south, you think about crossing the rivers and the mountains, and you think about what, like the pastor said, what, what a bridge does for you. Uh, when I think in Washington, and Evan mentioned in Washington, we need to build a few more bridges, I think. We need to build the bridges between folks who are in need and folks who are out of work and folks who are on hard times and those of us who can help others. We need to build a bridge to our children and our grandchildren. Like my little, oh, now she has a crown on. That's even better. Um, and, our, and our children so that the next generations, the next 40 years of Bridge Days, they have the opportunities and the education that they deserve. We need to build a bridge from those who are suffering and families suffering from addiction and need that we see cascading across this state and this country and build the bridges of help for them. 
So bridges have a lot of symbolism, I think, not just biblically, but also in our, in our daily lives. And uh, I want to be known as the bridge builder that my father was, because we see the bridge today. And I'll say this, if I can get it out, my dad is smiling today. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Senator. Our other Senator, Joe Manchin, while West Virginia's governor, he, I know he brought hundreds on special weather days like today, hundreds of two-wheel guests on dedicated motorcycle rides over the years to Bridge Day. And I really know he wanted to, to be here today. However, uh, Senator Manchin's in California, and he's at the commissioning ceremony this weekend of the USNS Woody Williams. West Virginia's oldest Medal of Honor recipient from World War II. A well-deserved tribute to Woody Williams. <laughs> Representing United States Senator, the Honorable Joe Manchin III, Regional Coordinator, Brian Alois. Brian. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, my name is Brian Alois, and I'm very happy to be here today on behalf of your United States Senator, Joe Manchin III, to celebrate the 40th birthday of our beloved New River Gorge Bridge. Yeah, give it up for her. Give it up for her. Yeah. Folks, I hope I look this good at 40, I tell you what. She looks New River Gorgeous, does she not? Does she not? Now, before I get started today, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize the Bridge Day staff, volunteers, the local, state, and federal officials, and everyone else responsible for putting on this tremendous event. Let's give them a big round of applause. A heck of a lot of hard work goes into this event, and buddy, it shows. For 40 years, this bridge has stood tall and proud, a testament to the strength and ingenuity of our state and its people. And to mark today's occasion, Senator Manchin sent me down here with a greeting, and I'd like to read it on his behalf, and it says, It is such a proud honor to welcome all of you on Bridge Day on this very special 40th anniversary celebration of the iconic and beautiful New River Gorge Bridge. It's no secret that we live in the most naturally beautiful state in the nation, home to the best of outdoor sports and activities, historic places and monuments, unique traditions and cultures, and of course, the most hardworking, hospitable people. Bridge Day is one of the days when the mountain state shines the brightest. Visitors from across the country and even the globe come to our beloved state to see our awe-inspiring sights and experience the kind of adventure that can only be found right here. When visitors come to West Virginia and want to know more about our state, as West Virginians, we ought to jump at the chance to tell them about our wonderful home. I like to share how proud and patriotic we are that we have more veterans per capita than most any state in the nation. I like to tell them, yep, yep, give it up. I like to tell them we fought in more wars, shed more blood, and lost more lives for the cause of freedom than most any state. We've done the heavy lifting and never complained. We've mined the coal that forged the steel that built this country, including the very bridge that we stand on here today. That's right. Again, it is an honor to welcome everyone who has come out to celebrate Bridge Day here at the New River Gorge, and especially those who have traveled from far and wide to be here. I invite you to stay and explore all the beauty, hospitality, and adventure West Virginia has to offer. Sincerely yours, your United States Senator Joe Manchin III. Thank you all, and God bless you. Yeah, I like his enthusiasm. Thank you, Brian. Wow. <laughs> If you haven't uh, seen this impressive metal grid work structure from below on the Bridgewalk Tour, you may not appreciate the planning and the engineering that had to be accomplished for this bridge to become reality back in the day before, think about it, before modern computers. It was and still is an engineering marvel. It's not an understatement to say that if it weren't for our next speaker's company, we wouldn't be here today. Michael Baker International designed and managed construction services 
for the New River Gorge Bridge. And we're honored to have him with us here today. Please welcome Michael Baker International's president and CEO, Mr. Brian A. Lutz. Wow, thanks Randy for that kind introduction. Um, look, first I want to start on behalf of myself and my teammates from Michael Baker International. Uh, it's a privilege to be here today to commemorate the 40th anniversary of one of the most famous, most iconic bridges ever built and to share on stage with leaders from West Virginia who like me and our company and our partners at the time appreciate the significance of this amazing bridge to Fayette County, the communities just north and south of the bridge and the state of West Virginia as a whole. So in the brief time I have with you, I wanna share three important things that stand out to us, <clears throat> pardon me, as we reflect back. The New River Gorge Bridge is an iconic structure. The tremendous impact the bridge has had on commerce in this region and the role of innovation in designing, building, and maintaining a bridge structure such as this. What makes the New River Gorge Bridge iconic? To start, Architectural Digest has referred to the New River Gorge Bridge as one of the top 10 remarkable U.S. bridges combining monumental design feats of engineering and the natural beauty of landscape combined. Others have described this bridge as one of the wonders of the world. In fact, no other bridge in our design portfolio dating back 77 and a half years has been memorialized on a U.S. quarter, a U.S. postage stamp, or a souvenir for that matter. The bridge continues to remind us of imagining a greater future, to challenge nature, economics, culture, technology, and even the laws of physics. To improve, simply improve the quality of life for the communities. When the bridge opened, it created opportunities for commerce in the region, which is my second point. The examples are apparent. The Dragon family, who initiated the whitewater rafting industry, which I've been part of three separate occasions, I can't say enough. Dave Arnold and his partners, who launched Adventures on the Gorge, and Benji Simpson, who spearheaded the Bridge Walk, which attracts tens of thousands of visitors a year. Two more statistics stand out about this magnificent bridge. The Canyon River, Canyon Rim Visitor Center attracted more than 350,000 tourists, while the New River Gorge National River area attracted more than a million visitors. This is consistent with Governor Justice's $3 billion infrastructure plan that Secretary of Transportation Smith will implement in the coming years. The New River Gorge Bridge connects so many people and communities within these beautiful mountains and amazing gorge. It's heaven as you look out. It literally has transformed the region. Finally, this kind of transformation can't happen without innovation and ingenuity. Consider that when we designed this bridge almost 50 years ago, our engineers spent the equivalent of 15 years of full-time man hours to build it. They produced 4,800 plus hand-drawn calculations. Today we use high-speed computer modeling to design and analyze our bridges and use drones to safely and efficiently inspect them. And in speaking briefly with our partners, American Bridge earlier, I had to remind them, 40 years ago, we didn't have phones, let alone cell phones, let alone did we have calculators. Everything was done by slide rules and hand calculations. So on behalf of Michael Baker International, I'm humbled that our bridge engineers had the privilege of designing this bridge 
as well as the 11 miles of highways around it. It's truly an engineering marvel. As I mentioned earlier, it remains a highlight of our 77-year legacy, one of dreaming big to solve complex challenges with creativity and collaboration. In closing, I want to recognize the outstanding job that Lizzie and the National Park Service has done to preserve these rivers, the forests, the historical context of the bridge, while also safeguarding its future for generations to come. Once again, I am truly honored to be part of a celebration and the legacy of the New River Gorge Bridge. And as a company, we are just as proud of this bridge today as we were when it opened. Thank you for inviting us to this great day and enjoy the afternoon. Well, Brian, too, is an outdoor adventurist. He, too, joins the uh, folks up on stage who has taken the bridge walk tour, was amazed, and also has right floated down the river several times. So thank you, Brian, for being here to help celebrate. I understand you, uh, you, you brought a lot of folks with you from Pittsburgh, from your corporate office, so welcome. So glad to have Michael Baker International. When you have a birthday celebration, you need birthday cupcakes, right? Well, thanks to Mr. Lutz and the Michael Baker Company, we have a thousand free cupcakes made right here in Fayetteville, West Virginia by Sweet Teas. And I'll, I'll tell you a little more about it after it's over, but we'll be passing them out, handing them over the wall there after the ceremony, okay? And that's, again, courtesy of Michael Baker International. I want to recognize Sharon Crookshanks. I've lost track of her. I know she's, here she is, right here. You know, accolades going to the Bridge Day. Sharon, this, this is your event, truly marvelous. And you and your committee want to thank you and your staff in the Fayette County Chamber of Commerce. and the Bridge Day Committee for hosting our ceremony, letting us be part of your Bridge Day here on the third Saturday in October. But when, when Sharon and I were a few months back doing some planning, uh, we thought it would be cool to add some music. Yeah, it'd be cool. Well, Sharon recommended a vocalist who was originally from the area, and she wrote a song that all West Virginians can relate to on the third Saturday of October called Going to Bridge Day. This song is from her latest album, West Virginia Girl. Here's Karen Clark with Going to Bridge Day. Making our way to the heaven state we're going to Bridge Day on the interstate. Scenery's pretty as we travel along. We're listening to that bluegrass song. Strolling the bridge on a cool autumn day. Hundreds of us are doing the same. The leaves they shimmer in red and gold as we look down to the blue river below. And the air is fresh, skies are blue. Oh, what a view at the gorge in West Virginia. Yeah, West Virginia. A place for the brave and bold as they base jump from the bridge to below. The rafters ride with the river's flow A cold train winds through the valley below Heading home from the heaven state The sun sets behind the mountain range Reflecting on the day we had Oh, how we loved it so Cause the air is fresh, skies are blue And oh, what a view at the gorge in West Virginia. At the gorge in West Virginia. At the gorge in West Virginia. New River Gorge, West Virginia. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Karen. And uh, Karen has, uh, Karen's a vendor here today. And Karen, you, uh, your CD, West Virginia Girls Available, right? Yep, booth five. <laughs> A little self-promotion that never hurt anyone, did it? Thank you, Karen. What a great job. Isn't it great to be a West Virginian today? Or any day? Yeah? I was about to say our, our next to last speaker, but I'm going to say our last speaker. Governor Justice uh, let us know about 8.30 this morning that he's unable to make it today. You probably noticed those will be the programs. But he sends his regards, and he sends his well wishes for a great Bridge Day ceremony. And with beautiful weather like this, we are indeed having one. So, our last speaker this morning, he is an engineer, and he truly loves what he's doing, building roads and bridges, and he's done so over the years uh, with Federal Highways Administration, the Appalachian Regional Commission, and now he's the leader of the West Virginia Department of Transportation. Well, since, the, as you know, since the first of the year, he's worked beside Governor Justice building the Roads to Prosperity Program. He's excited and committed to working with Governor and his highways team to improve West Virginia highways because West Virginia highways is about to venture onto a new road into the future. Our Governor, I've been with him, our Governor has called him the rock star of highways, but I believe he's even more adventurous than that because he wants to jump off the bridge today. <laughs> he, he got here particularly early just so he could stroll by and the fever is catching him, so uh, you might want to catch him in case he runs that way after the event. It's my honor and privilege to welcome the uh, West Virginia Division of Highways Commissioner, as well as the Secretary of the West Virginia Department of Transportation, Mr. Tom Smith. Thank you, Randy. Let me start by saying Governor Justice does send his regrets for not being able to join us here today. What a great day, what a great event, what a great bridge. Just wonderful, wonderful. Well, I get the fun job of getting to recognize some folks here and then make a few brief remarks and uh, then you'll be able to eat your cupcakes. But uh, the first thing I'd like to do is, is to say uh, what a remarkable team of men and women the West Virginia DOH is. I'd like all of them that are here today to raise their hands and be recognized. I am very blessed to be a part of this team and I think these men and women are awesome and they're going to do a great thing for you as we deliver the road program. We also appreciate Michael Baker International for designing the bridge and coming today. I, I would actually like all of the Michael Baker folks to raise their hand too and be recognized. And I can't resist doing this. There's one particular Michael Baker uh, employee, Mr. Jack, Jack Justice, I'd like to stand. He was here helping to design the bridge, not with Michael Baker, but with West Virginia DOH way back in 1977. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jack. Now we have some other uh, individuals who were here back then as well. Uh, from the American Bridge Division of U.S. Steel, uh, there are several workers in attendance, and I'm going to ask them to stand and be recognized as well. They were part of the project team here. Mr. Tom Owens, project manager. <laughs> Barry Bender, an engineer. Dan Radu, an engineer. and Tom Daly, engineer. We have one of the carpenter and framers, a Mr. Bob Thomas. Thank you, Bob. And then several iron workers in attendance. These men were known as the Iron Men of the Gorge. Uh, first, Larry Cottrell. Arnold Ashbery. and Clarence Spud Chandler. Those are the Iron Men of the Gorge. What I'd like you to do now is to travel back in time with me 40 or 50 years. 40 years is when the bridge was open, but even go a little bit further back then. 
Now we engineers are pretty good about talking about the transportation benefit, about getting from here to there and getting from here to there safer in, in a more safe fashion. What we're not so good at is recognizing the ripple benefits of transportation and all, the, all that it can do. And I would say to you all, who possibly could imagine the, the ripple benefits of this bridge, of the Appalachian corridor system, of the interstate system at large? It's just almost unfathomable to understand how much this bridge and this corridor had on the, on the whole area here in the greater region in the, the eastern part of the United States. Well, I've heard the word visionary used many, many times today, and, and there were some visionaries. Uh, first, our own Senator Byrd, uh, so, certainly, certainly quite the visionary. And then, Senator, your father, Governor Moore. Uh, these men were quite the visionaries, and they understood what transportation could do. They very aggressively mounted a program to build the interstates, the Appalachian corridors, and indeed this bridge today. So now what I'd want you to do is pivot forward 50 years, 40 or 50 years, to another visionary, my boss, Governor Jim Justice, who put as the center of his program for economic recovery, transportation. We as engineers are very, very blessed to have a person who recognizes these, these so important benefits that uh, accrue from transportation. His program is big. It's uh, $3 billion, upwards of $3 billion. It's bold, thousands and thousands and thousands of immediate jobs. And it has an immediate impact on our economy and the greater region. Uh, it will be, 40 years from now, we'll look back and say what a historic program that was as it made such a difference in the state of West Virginia and the greater part of the East Coast. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to do many things. The first thing it allows us to do is take care of what we've got first, preservation. But importantly, and this is really important, folks, it allows us to finish things. Now, Congressman Jenkins, uh, you'll be happy to know that uh, a section of the King Cole Highway down in Bluefield that links up that bridge to nowhere, that'll be finished and opened up to traffic. Uh, we'll actually get the Coalfields Expressway opened all the way to Mullins. We'll completely finish. <laughs> we'll completely finish U.S. Route 35. Yay! <laughs> And it'll allow us to get another section of quarter H, the last of our Appalachian quarters, finished over Kearns to Parsons. So what we should do is savor and, and savor and celebrate the success of that historic road bond vote several weeks ago. We need to savor and celebrate the success of this remarkable historic structure. And what I'll invite you all to do, our many guests from out of town, is, is savor and celebrate the hospitality, the food, the music, the adventure, the beauty, the mountains that you have here today. And then what I'll do is invite you to come back to West Virginia. Come back where you can see the wonderful people that you see today. We're going to have lots of jobs. We're going to have lots of challenge. So what I'll do is say invite you to come back, come back for a great quality of life. Help us build more bridges in West Virginia. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you, Tom. Well, that concludes our ceremony from here on the stage. But before we leave, I, I wanted to mention Sharon Crookshanks has brought the scissors that were used 40 years ago tomorrow, basically, from then Governor Jay Rockefeller when they cut the ribbon to officially open the bridge. If you'd like a photo, they'll be here on the stage for you to take a photo here for about the next 45 minutes to an hour here on the stage. If you'll give us time to get a photo quickly, if you'd like one, with the uh, dignitaries on stage. Now, the important part, the cupcakes. <laughs> you'll notice some DOH personnel wearing yellow vest. They're over against the wall. The cupcake uh, truck is over here beside the steps. And if you want to make your way over, they have a cupcake, again, courtesy of Michael Baker International. We so much thank you for that. And. Uh, <laughs> And we hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and thanks for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Bridge Day 2017.